David Hurley here for RBTL Sports Overtime, where the Toronto Blue Jays and the Cincinnati Reds faced off on Saturday afternoon in the second leg of their two-day event here in Montreal. Now, over 50,000 fans showed up to really show in full force to Major League Baseball that they're missing their baseball team. Earlier today, I had an opportunity to speak to two Hall of Fame baseball players in Roberto Alomar and Steve Rogers. Here's what they had to say. Former Montreal Expos, Canadian Hall of Fame baseball member. How are you, Mr. Rogers? Well, I'm doing great. It's great to be here. How do you enjoy with the weekend and coming back to Montreal and watching the fans be exactly like it used to be back in the golden days? Well, there's no doubt that uh, the fans uh, from Montreal and Quebec are, are, are saying to the world, hey, look, we love baseball. It's, it's big here. And uh, I think it's a, a little bit of a statement, hey, we would really like to have baseball back. So to see that kind of enthusiasm is very, very positive. Roberto, you had an opportunity to play here three times for three different teams in National League. How is it to come back and, and see how it was back then and see what it could be again? Oh, it's, a, it's an unbelievable feeling uh, as a ball player. I remember when I came here, I was only 20 years old. I played with San Diego Padres and uh, I used to Always enjoy coming to Montreal and play here. Uh, I enjoy the people, I enjoy the fans, and uh, to see to see baseball not not play here again is uh, is a real sad for for the game of baseball. Well, I, I remember coming here before, um, and I used to play in Jerry Park, and, uh, and that was different. When we moved here, and I played the first game here when I got traded, and that was uh, different. And uh, there were 52,000 people here, and, and welcome us. Uh, very warm, and, and that was and that was something uh, happened in the three years I was here. There was a lot of people coming to see baseball. And I don't know what happened after that, but uh, that was the three good years. And good, a lot of good memories come back to me when I came back today. You've had an opportunity to see how it's like in Toronto when it's, the market plays well. Do you think if Montreal would have had that opportunity in '94 that we would still have a baseball club here? You could have. You could have if, uh, if it had not been a strike and uh, we had a great ball club right here. And, went on to uh, certainly be in the playoffs or World Series or win the World Series, it might have changed a lot of things, but we can't look back. We have to look forward and hopefully that uh, we can get, a, can get a stadium here and uh, move forward with another Major League Baseball team. After a wonderful weekend of sports in Montreal where over 96,000 fans showed up to watch the Cincinnati Reds and the Toronto Blue Jays, Montreal proved to Major League Baseball that it's a sustainable baseball market. Now, much like the Olympic Stadium, Montreal baseball fans are left feeling empty. I'm David Hurley for RBTL Sports Overtime. Thanks for watching. Hey, sports junkies, like what you see? Click that subscribe button for more exclusive content.